Okay, this question is from Worth Masterpiece 98. Your question is, as a soccer player, should I work on cardio and abs on the soccer pitch or at the gym? And I think the answer is that it doesn't matter where you train or you play because, right, what's the goal? The goal is to, with spending the least amount of energy and time, how do we, how do we improve our game on the soccer field? And I think, right, you said that you're a beginner, you're, you're a freshman, you're trying to make JV. First of all, you want to raise your sights to where, you know, let's, let's, tr let's train smarter than all the players who are on varsity. And let's, you know, let's, if you can train smarter than all the players playing varsity, then making JV will be no problem because it's more about developing the habit of training every day. It doesn't matter where you train or play, right? So in terms of helping develop your cardio, it might be smart to invest in a bicycle, It's effortless, right? A bicycle is a bicycle is an effortless way that's going to help you um, improve your stamina and your breathing. Um, the second thing is that you know you could have the best cardio in the world, but if you're a freshman and you're just working on playing JV, the thing that's going to help you, you know, get you the most bang for your buck is in investing your time and energy into juggling, right? You want your touch to be. Um, uh, you know, you want your touch to be sharp and you want, um, right, juggling is, is going to help you improve not only your cardio and your abs, but it's going to help you improve your balance, your timing, your rhythm, your coordination, um, your awareness on the field. All these things are super important, right? The best play, the best jugglers aren't always the best players, but the best players are always the best jugglers. So you want to really um, invest in juggling different size balls, tennis balls, right? Dog toys, frick, even a, a toilet paper, right? Get on as many surfaces as possible. I've been telling players, carry a tennis ball with you everywhere you go and turn your life into like a soccer vacation. So it doesn't matter whether you're at work, at school, grocery store, on the job, on vacation, you're just always getting touches. And I think, right, because then it doesn't matter if you're at the gym or at home or at the field, you're just always improving. And juggling is just a timeless way to take your game to the next level, right? I would go to my older brother's practices and the ball wouldn't hit the ground, right? It'd be in the air for hours, hours I'd be juggling. Um, so I think that's a smarter, right? In, because what's the alternative look like, right? What you're going to just do wind sprints and then spend no time on the ball. Like you're going to spend no time uh, dribbling or juggling. And then you're going to get to practice not having, not being sharp on the ball. And you're going to be not confident whenever the ball comes to you, you won't be able to uh, shield the ball. You, you know, you can't connect passes. It's just a smarter way to train if you increase your juggling volume because you're, it's like you're working on your passing, you're dribbling, you're shooting all at the same time. So that's why I think if you're a beginner and you're a freshman and you, you got to, and right, you, you want to make JV or varsity, you got to train at a smarter level than the varsity players are currently training. I'd also invest in an SKLZ kick trainer, right? Um, a kick trainer is just going to, something that's going to improve your ball striking. It's going to improve your passing and shooting. You could bring it everywhere, right? It's portable. You don't need to wait for a training par your partner. You don't need to go to a wall. You can make anywhere your training, your training ground. And that's why it's right. It's cheap. It's 24 bucks, right? That's not bad. Um, you could make one yourself and as you know, a kick trainer is it's invaluable. It's probably one of the most underrated soccer training tools that no one's talking about it. And I, I sound like a broken record saying this in every video, but I'm telling you, whether you're five years old or 99 years old, I think, you know, as a soccer player, it's going to help you develop. Um, the third thing that's going to help with balance, timing, rhythm, coordination, everything is learning how to do the alternating underhand sneak with an RMT rope, right? Just search how to make an RMT rope. You want a rope that's soft. You want a rope that's as long as you are tall, maybe a little bit longer, so you could put some knots in it, and that's about it, right? You just start sw sw you want to uh, you want to just start swinging it, and as you swing it, it acts like a metronome, right? That's that's where the power that's where the power and the simplicity is because as you swing it, each each revolution of the rope, it it synchronizes and harmonizes your body's movement, and it will make you right. I noticed. Right, I started juggling. My juggling improved when I started doing this alternating underhand sneak, and 
if my juggling improved, that improved my passing and my shooting and everything just got better, right? So I promise you, check out these resources. Um, how to, how to uh, alternating underhand sneak tutorial, that's one. The second is a kick trainer. My favorite is the SKLZ kick trainer on Amazon, right? 24 bucks. Um, you want to check out How to Breathe by Dr. Vranich. That's V-R-A-N-I-C-H. And with these re like with those resources and also juggling a tennis ball, you could make the varsity team with a little bit of effort every single day, like five minutes of training a day. And if your you know preseason is in August or whatever, you're gonna be more than ready. You include some dribbling, some dribbling exercises, some some uh, ball mastery, and you're gonna be ready to rock and roll, right? Dribbling, skill, skills, kick trainer, and um and juggling, those are the three most important things you could do every day. Juggling, dribbling, and then using the kick trainer paired with a smart warm up and cool down, and you're gonna be well on well on your way to making the JV team and possibly the varsity team. So uh, reach out with any questions and I uh, hope this helps. All right, thank you.